The second approach to recording MIDI is to record directly into the MIDI editor. Make sure that the correct track is selected and that the play cursor is at the desired start position. I want to insert an empty 4 bar object on track 1 beginning at bar 1. Go up to the MIDI menu and select New MIDI Object. You will see a list of MIDI templates. I'm going to choose Empty 4 Bar. A 4 bar object has now been added to the selected track. Double click on the object to open the MIDI editor. There are three rectangular boxes above the matrix editor you should be aware of. The left one displays the name of the object. This box is also used for highlighting MIDI notes when using multiple object editing. Right clicking will open the MIDI object editor. You can rename the object in the text field at the bottom. The middle box displays the name of the current track. If you have multiple track objects selected, these will be displayed in this list. Look out for the multi-object editing tutorial to find out more about this feature. Right clicking on this box will open the track options window. This can be used in conjunction with audio or MIDI tracks. It allows you fast access to audio and MIDI I.O. routing options. You can also record enable your MIDI track from here and also rename the track. The last box displays the name of the inserted virtual instrument. Right clicking on this box will open the plugin GUI. Left clicking on this box gives you a list of the MIDI ports and access to your list of virtual instruments. This means you can insert a new virtual instrument to replace the existing one. In fact, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to open Lounge Lizard Virtual Electric Piano. Left clicking on the virtual keyboard will trigger the sound of the piano. If you're not hearing sound, go to the menu item Options, play clicked notes and make sure that is ticked. If you're still not hearing anything, make sure that monitoring is enabled for that MIDI track. Incidentally, if you hold down the Alt modifier and move the mouse wheel, you can zoom in on the virtual keyboard. Zooming in also reveals the names of the white notes. Hold down Shift plus Control and use the mouse wheel to scroll the piano roll vertically. You can also record directly into the MIDI editor. Take note that when doing this, the notes will not appear in the MIDI editor until the recording is finished. Use the hotkey R to begin recording.